Welcome back everyone to Golden Boost and today is my video review about the Puma Future 7 Ultimate MG and here we go. The weight is 198 gram photo size 7 US 25 centimeters, a little lighter than the previous generation. The MG also is still a new model from last year starting from the red and white breakthrough colorway. There are only 24 studs, the brand removed one stud in the middle of the heel, adjust the stud position a bit and at the same time make them bigger. They added small plastic lines between the pink studs to provide more structure to the outsole. The material I feel both firm and elastic and as usual there is no cushion inside. You should buy the silicone cushion to have softness at the heel. The upper is still divided into two parts and has clearly separated lines. Firstly, from the tongue to the collar, the textile is not much different from the turf version, but the power tape on the instep, I have to say that they are not for decoration anymore. Two power tape layers are glued on top of each other, they are all thicker and stronger than the Pro Cage version, so when touching them makes me feel extremely impressed. The tongue area cannot be overstretched at all. Second is the area of the midfoot and the toe box, where the textile material is covered with thin silicone. This coating is more friction than the Pro, but on the Ultimate we have power print printing technology, which is embossed plastic patterns to help increase friction when touching the ball, covering up to 90% of the boot surface. They extend from both sides of the angles up to the toe box. The grip and the roughness is very clear to the touch. There are two types of rectangular shapes, one are the blue particles, two are the blue particles with silver coating above. These particles are raised a bit higher. In my opinion, that will be durable, not a structure that can peel off. But whether it will peel or not, maybe time will tell. But in my opinion, 99% that they will not fall off. At the toe box, there are two small areas that don't have a power print running through them. I don't know why they are so empty. Probably Puma gonna let you know what the upper looks like below. There will also be padding underneath the toe box. The thickness is the same as the previous generation. The toe box shape is still low on the turf version you might worry about but on the MG version it is guaranteed to not boxy at all. Just like on the turf, the brand has removed two thin plastic pieces from both sides of the midfoot so the middle area is softer to the touch. I still use thin flat insole from the beginning because the form is likely to be the same as the previous generation and it will be quite painful if I use the original insole. It's a bit difficult to put on because of the power tip. Puma put it on the stretchy part of the tongue, but just with a little more effort, you can slide the foot in. I've trained the thin insole, but the middle area is still terribly tight, so numb that I can even walk around the house, but the toe box area is quite comfortable. I must say that the power tape is really effective. I can feel the tightness on my instep. It feels solid. Personally, I don't feel any tightness or pain in the little toe. The uncomfortable feeling are the tightness in the midfoot, mixed with a bit of tired when the outsole is not yet soft. So tight and pain that I thought about removing the laces. And I have to say this time with the power tip on the instep, Puma has created a very good feeling when playing laceless. I have wide feet, the lockdown is so good, no distraction at all. So far I have 4 games with these, I only play without laces. The form is still maintained well and the power tape is still provide a very impressive experience. If you have wide feet, you go down half a side like me, then you'll be fine. If your feet are narrow, your instep is thin and you go to the side, so maybe you should not go laceless with these. After 2 games and 1 practice session, I feel completely comfortable. The only area that needed to be broken in was the midfoot. I feel the elasticity around my feet, like wearing the pair of super quality socks tight around the foot, soft cushioning at the toe, and the surface is friction. I really appreciate the feeling of touching the ball. The friction is there, more grip than the previous generation, definitely, but it didn't make me say wow like the grip mid on the Phantom GX or the fins on the Predators. This type of friction is quite effective, but compared to the above two models, I don't like it as much. Grip on the pitch, well, even it rained this day. Puma MG also on artificial grass is safer than Nike or Adidas AG, especially the quality of the pitch is not too high. Plastic studs, good elasticity and lightweight, so the running experience feel flexible and quick. I think this model is very good to shoot with, the power tape on the instep, and you guys will love the feeling of hitting the ball right, right on the instep. 
In conclusion, I feel the Future 7 Ultimate MG in the midfoot and the toe box area. The feeling is quite similar to the previous version because they are all knit uppers. The boot form is the same and both have a padding internal liner. But I think this 7 generation has more softness, less plastic feel than the Future Ultimate. Initially, in your hand, you might feel that the upper of the Future 7 Ultimate also has a lot of plastic, but that's just because of the particles attached to the surface. When you put your feet on, you will clearly feel from the inside the softness as the elastic city coming from the textile fabric. The strongest point of this one is the power tape. I really like the experience they bring. For several generations, Puma has been marketing the future line as the boots that can be worn with or without laces. But it was not until this 7th generation when Puma put the power tape on the instep, then I could feel the impact. Power tape contributed to the feeling of tightness in the middle area when first unboxing, but once the boots were soft, I no longer felt uncomfortable on both sides of the midfoot. The power tape is still very strong and solid, still putting pressure on my instep. The feeling is not negative at all, I really like that. I played all 4 games without laces, and the lockdown was extraordinary. My feet did not slide inside the boot when changing direction and did not cause any distraction during the match. Once again, in the MG Also review videos, I recommend that you use this type of also when you have never had knee, heel or ankle injuries and you should play on good quality AG feel with a lot of rubber pits and softness. But if the pitch you play on is not good, you should not use it. Instead, use tough football shoes. My feet are 25.5 cm long and 10.5 cm wide. For these, I'm going down half a size to 7 US 25 cm. That's the best possible fit for me. So that's my video review about the Puma Future 7 Ultimate MG. If you try these and have different experience than me, please share your opinion in the comment section right down below. Right here you can see there's a playlist of my video in English. Click if you wanna see more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.